What is up guys? We are back with another video and today is moving day. So I will be moving to Houston, Texas. Um, I finally got my whole apartment room cleaned out. It is about 3 a.m. here in Carbondale, Illinois. We got about a 13 hour drive ahead of us. Um, I'm going to be vlogging most of the trip, kind of being able to talk to the camera. I mean, it's going to be a good good chance for you guys to get to really know me, get to really know who I am, just because it's just me and you guys. Um, yeah, it's going to get kind of boring as well, so it's just like giving me something to do. But I'm also going to be doing a full day of clean eating on the road. So my goal is to stay under 2,500 calories for this whole trip. Um, and kind of give you guys maybe a better idea of what you guys can eat on the road. I'm not going to bring in any food with me, but like I said, it's 3 a.m. I'm kind of tired. need to get caffeinated up, so um, I'm going to catch you guys back at the car once I get my last bags kind of taken care of. All right. Goodbye, P2. This is Pompanel, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen. Home of the Salukis. I honestly do not think I could fit anything else in my car. You guys have no idea how packed my car is right now. Take a look. Jesus. I was sitting playing Tetris for about three hours earlier today. But, yeah, as you can tell, there is no room just for me. And we are off. So, here we go to 13 hours with me, guys. <laughs> But, you know, first things first, we gotta stop and get caffeinated. Um, do not, <laughs> this video does not advocate drinking caffeine. Um, caffeine is highly addictive and it's, it's not something that you wanna get dragged into, so. But, I, but I'm gonna do it. So. All right, goodbye, Carbondale, Illinois. Yeah, so. A little backstory. Um, I, yeah, I went to school here for three years. Um, I played baseball here for two, and then I finished up school last semester, and then I let, li lived out my lease this semester and kind of figured out my life, figured out what I wanted, really wanted to do. But now I'm moving to Houston. So yeah, it's been a crazy couple weeks, but I'm excited for this new journey. Um, but yeah, like I said, we got 13 hours ahead of us. Um, this is actually gonna help me kind of get better at talking in front of the camera as well, especially because I'm gonna be um, alone the majority of the time in front of the camera. So um, yeah, I'm excited to kind of get to talk to you guys along the way, I guess. All right, so we went ahead and got stopped by the gas station, got some caffeine. I went with the Alani New. Um, it's personally my favorite flavor. Um, I gave it about 9.3 out of 10. Um, I have <laughs> I have a little problem with gas stations because every time I go in I see the donut section and I'm a huge pastry guy so it's a little bit hard for me because I've seen them and I'm like crap dude I gotta do this full day of eating clean so but any other day I would have just grabbed 12 of them and went, went with this because donuts on the road just hit differently but anyways I, I also got a vitamin water um, it's zero calories and they're super tasty so um, yeah, I feel a lot better now that I'm a little bit caffeinated, a little bit more awake. Um, but yeah, go ahead, Elliot, and put the put the energy drink counter up. That's number one on the trip. Um, I don't know how many we're gonna drink. We're just gonna kind of play it by ear. When I get tired, I might stop and get one. But um, yeah, so here we go. I'm all caffeinated up and ready to make this drive to Houston. I plan on um, eating here in a couple hours and kind of starting my the full day of eating. Um, probably gonna stop. Um, in about, like I said, about two hours to get something to eat, make it, make it a clean eat, something that I can ca count calories on, something I can put in my fitness pal. So, um, yeah, I'll catch, I'll catch you back for breakfast, guys. Alright guys, so I made a quick pit stop at the gas station. I had to use the restroom. Um, I'm about an hour out from Memphis. The drive has been good so far. No, no traffic really. Um, but I did snag energy drink number two. Um, 
ghost blue raspberry. I'll go ahead and give you guys a quick taste test so you know how it tastes. Oh, that's pretty good. So, Ghost is actually one of my favorite energy drinks. Um, I give that a 9.5 out of 10. That's one of my favorite flavors, Blue Raspberry. So if you're thinking about what kind of Ghost to get, then definitely go with that. But I also did grab a Fruit Cup, which has 100 calories in it. So go ahead and add that to the cold calories for the day. But um, it had some fresh fruit there, so I went ahead and grabbed, grabbed one just because... Um, just have a little snack I, I'm gonna stop in Memphis and get an actual breakfast so I didn't want to get something too big but yeah like I said the drive's going well um, not a lot of traffic it's daylight out it's a beautiful day it's the 4th of July and you know I'm driving but you know I'm, I'm excited and I'm feeling good so I guess this is a good time though to kind of talk about why I'm moving to Houston um, honestly the last three weeks of my life have been absolutely crazy hectic stressful and uh, um, I don't know it's just it's been it's been a crazy three weeks so but I guess it kind of all started back first semester um, I was working at a supplement shop I had just I just get done play, playing baseball the summer the, the summer before the semester um, uh, I was coming back to school to finish one class I was drinking a lot I was trying to gain weight but not really taking my nutrition or training seriously um, I got up to like 220 pounds and put on a lot of fat. Um, at the time, I, I guess it's, it's kind of hard to talk about, but at the time I was feeling extremely lost. Um, I had just got done, uh, like, get done playing baseball, the sport that I've been playing for 15 years. I had just recently got over a breakup with a with a with my girlfriend. Um, like I said, I was just feeling lost. I didn't really know what to do with my life. I was drinking every day, I was going out every weekend, but I was working at a supplement shop on the side. So I started to get like a kind of clear, clear uh, sense of nutrition and training. Um, and I don't know, I was just wasn't happy with life. Um, and then one day on January 1st, I, my New Year's resolution was that I was going to complete a full bodybuilding cut. So. I don't know what really came about me, but I was like, screw this, like, F, F this life, like, I, I, need to, I need to change, I need to do something, I need to do, put all my heart into something, so, I set a 15 week bodybuilding plan, um, and I set the end to Alpha Land, because I wanted something to like, kind of push me, kind of motivate me to um, keep on track, because I was going to be in front of some of my favorite influencers, some people that I looked up to. Some people that I, you know, took advice from and whatnot. So I set the last date of my cut to Alpha Land, um, but I end up, you know, taking this cut absolutely extremely serious. I quit drinking. I quit going out to eat. Um, I got in a very very clean routine. I went to work. I went. I did cardio in the morning. I went to work. I went to the gym. I went home. I ate my meals. I met my macros, and then I went to sleep, and I did it again. And honestly, throughout the process, I kind of uh, lost a lot of my social life, and I lost a lot of friends doing it as well. But I learned a lot about myself through the process, like. When I said I lost a lot of friends, I, I I wouldn't go out to eat with friends because I was doing doing my meal prep, or I wouldn't drink with my friends because I wanted to stay on my macros and stay on track. And I would either get made fun of for you know, oh he's not going out to eat, he's been, he's gonna go meal prep, or oh he's not he's he's not drinking anymore, um, he's a pussy, he's not drinking. Or I I'd go out to eat with them after I eat my meal prep and like, hey man, why aren't you drinking? I'm like, well. Like I, I'm, I'm done drinking. Like I'm, I'm committed to this cut. You know, I'm committed to doing this, completing this the correct way. And they're like, "Oh, you're a pussy for not drinking." Um, but fast forward 15 weeks, I completed it. I did every single step right. I was disciplined about myself. I every day met my macros. I did my cardio every day. I met my training every day, and I showed up to Alpha Land, and. I was extremely nervous and I actually showed up by myself which made me very uncomfortable but in the end I think that that is why I uh, 
am here where I am because it pushed me to meet more people and it pushed me to open up to people more and it, it, you know I didn't have another person to lean on while I was there but anyways I showed up there and met some of my you know favorite influencers some people that I look up to and they end up like kind of telling me that like wow like you you have a crazy physique like you've you've done great on this cut you know and kind of almost like kind of praised me for the hard work that I put in and you know I went to Alpha Lynn and I was surrounded by people who do the same thing as me who meal prep who train hard who push each other to train hard and like just the environment there was just like life-changing um, and it kind of just kind of like hit me in the head and I was like wow like this this place is insane like these guys understand not only understand me but they're welcoming me they're pushing me to make more content and they're like you know they're very like-minded as well individuals and they're people that you know inspire to be something big just just like I did and that that weekend I went home and like it just everything just changed like I got home and like I'm like man like I need to be there more but I ended up having, you know, a, a really, really good friend of mine who's actually my video editor now, Elliot. Everybody go thank Elliot in the comments. He's an amazing video editor. He's editing, probably editing this video. Go ahead, thank Elliot in the comments right now. Um, but Elliot was like, hey, summer shredding's in two weeks. Uh, you should definitely try to come. There's going to be even more people there for you to meet. And I was like, absolutely, you know, like, how, how do I make this happen? You know, I, don't, I didn't have a lot of money at the time, so... That night, or that morning, I guess, I go through my contacts and I start calling people. I called people and I was like, hey, do you have any extra work for me? Like, I need, I'm trying to raise some money for a trip in two weeks. Um, I called about 100 people and for the next two weeks, I was outside, you know, doing labor work. I power washed houses, I cleaned cars, I mowed grass, I moved furniture. Um, I did a lot of that stuff for my family members who like agreed like yeah like if you can do if you can do this like I, I'd be more happy to pay you which I'm more than grateful for because I've come from an extremely supportive family um, but all all the while you know I was still dieting I was still cutting I was going harder than ever because I was like now like there's gonna be even more people here like I want I want my physique to be the best it's ever been um, I end up reaching out to and I have BB Pro that I know, and he kind of helped me with like the dry out process as well. Um, so I was doing all this hard labor work while I was dieting, while I was training harder than I ever been, and that two weeks was probably the hardest two weeks mentally of my life. Um, I was working 10 hours a day in, in the sun. I was doing an hour of cardio. I was doing two hours of training, and you know I was just wearing me down. But I guess in the in the in the end, it kind of like lean me out anymore because I was sweating so much every day but yeah so I showed up, showed up to summer shredding and once again like I met even more great genuine people and they just accepted me um, they understood me uh, and like just the cultural environment there was just like amazing and I, I like I can't thank the people from Alpha Land enough for making me feel so welcome because I like for the longest time I felt so lost and almost kind of lonely and I showed up there and I'm like I like they made me feel like I belong there and like it just was the, the most the greatest feeling ever I got to meet some of the biggest people in the industry um, people I got to meet some amazing genuine guys who I still am in contact with um, so that weekend I went home and I'm like mom and dad like listen I'm, I'm I want to move to Houston I'm moving to Houston and at the time they didn't really understand but they seen the hard work that I was putting in and the dedication that, that I was putting in that they hadn't really seen since I was probably playing baseball, you know, like since I was grinding every day playing baseball. So, you know, they didn't, they didn't really understand what I was going for, what I was trying to do, but I was like, guys, like, this is where I want to be. Like, f pursuing fitness is my dream. Um, like, this is where I want to go. Like, I'm positive. And so they're, you know, they're like we don't really understand like why you want to go there but like I said they they seen the dedication I was willing to put in and so they were supportive of it um, and like I said I know you guys are watching right now and I, I appreciate you guys more than you guys ever know for you know 
giving me this supporting this opportunity that I wanted to do so thank you guys um, but anyways so I ended up getting a loan to get down here um, and within a week you know I packed my stuff up I said my goodbyes and now I'm headed to Houston so that's kind of how that's kind of the backstory about why I'm moving to Houston and kind of how I'm getting there, but I'm extremely excited for this chapter of my life. Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm obviously a little scared, um, but I am excited. But my parents did tell me they're like, "We will su we'll, we'll support your decisions and everything you make. You're always welcome back home. But if you do move away and you do move to Houston, you have to promise us that you will chase this dream with everything you have." And I said, "Yes, sir. I will." So. Yeah, so time's finally come. I'm 10 hours from being in Houston. Yeah, so I'm about 45 minutes out from Memphis, and I am going to get some breakfast there, so I'll meet up with you guys then. All right, guys, so we are back. We are at breakfast in downtown Memphis. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. I am at Starbucks. So I went ahead and I got three egg white and turkey bacon sandwiches um, with a fruit press smoothie from Whole Foods right across the street. Um, it is, I think it's apples, kale, cin apples, kale, um, spinach, and orange juice. So that's that is 160 calories. So I actually got the, t the sandwiches with no cheese. So the macros for that come out to just, the macros for just the three sandwiches come out to 75 carbs, six grams of fat, 39 protein, and 489 calories. Um, the fruit, 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 fruit press smoothie or juice, it comes out to 160 cows. So for breakfast, we are at 649 cows. And for the whole day, we are at 740, 749 calories. I went ahead and did the honors. I've got the sauce with me, zero calorie hot sauce, and you know I had to get the cinnamon. I brought, I, I actually brought that with me in my car, so that's gonna be with me the whole trip. But yeah, so we are at 749 cows for the day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and I'll catch it back up with you at the in the car. Um, actually, dude, fuck it. I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little taste test. Very good. Smooth. I really do like that smoothie, and they said it was really pretty good for our digestion health. Um, the key to kind of like eating healthy on the road is you kind of got to piece stuff together. Um, it was kind of hard, especially on the Fourth of July, to find somewhere who had the calories listed in their um, menus. So Starbucks actually did, and I actually found the macros without cheese. So it came out to like six grams of fat, pretty low fat, and it's a great option, great healthy option. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and then I'll catch you back on the road. All right, guys, we are back. We are in the car. We are eight hours from Houston, and it's about time that we had the talk. And what I'm talking about is road snacks. All right, so I, I went ahead and stopped at Whole Foods and got a couple road snacks, kind of some sodas, kind of what I like to drink, what I like to eat. Um, first of all, First and foremost, protein bars. I like the, the one protein bars because it has one gram of sugar and I like to keep my sugars low. Um, we are trying to hit 240 grams of protein today and 2,500 calories. So um, protein bars are gonna be essential, especially when you're on the road, but not a big fat donut or anything. But um, yeah, they're pretty good. So I, I am a, like a slut for donuts. Uh, on to the next, uh, I went ahead and grabbed Cauliflower bites, I honestly have no idea if these are good or not. So they are 130 calories for the whole bag. And that's kind of the trick, like you want something that is very, very filling, um, that you can kind of munch on for a while and like not very many calories. So I, I'm not gonna eat all this at once, and I'm not gonna eat the protein bar right now, but this is kind of like an example of what I got to get. Um, I'll go ahead and try these though, just so you guys can like kind of see how they taste. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you too. I 
mean, they're not bad. They're Buffalo Ranch, so the seasoning's really good. But it still kind of tastes like vegetables. Um, if I was super hungry, I could probably smack like a couple bags of these. But yeah, I mean, that's just like kind of an example. Um, another thing I like to eat is the Skinny Pop. Just like the bag of Skinny Pop is pretty good. It's pretty low calorie. Popcorn in general is pretty low calorie. Um, but yeah, anything that's like very low calorie and will like have high volume in a gas station, that's what you need to get. And kind of try, to, try to stay away from like foods with sugars and stuff. Um, some drinks I like to get. No, these are fun. So I like to get the Zevias. They are zero calorie. They're zero calorie. They taste just like soda. Um, they're made from stevia, no, no sugar. So they are pretty good. Like they're not like you can't have like 10 of them expect your stomach to be okay but like they're pretty tasty and they're zero calories so they're all right with me another one is the ices if you can find the ice uh carbonated water at a gas station like go for one of those because those are really tasty as well um let's see what else we got i think i grabbed a. oh here it is i grabbed a probiotic drink so this is actually 35 calories but it's supposed to be it's supposed to support digestion um Especially when you're driving a lot, I tend to get a little bit bloated, um, if like right after I eat and I start driving. So anything that's like kind of digestive health wise when I'm driving, I like to drink. This in itself is 35 calories. It's a little higher than zero, but it's still very low calorie. So I'm not going to take a huge hit from it. But yeah, other than that, um, like I said, I'm not going to eat that protein bar and those veggie snacks right now. But like that's just something I like to eat when I'm like snacking on the road, you know, and I get like kind of get uh, fidgety and want to want to just munch on something but yeah so that's kind of the trick but like I said we're about eight hours out from Houston um, I got a lot of energy right now because I got two energy drinks in me and I put 75 grams of carbs in me from that breakfast meal so I probably won't need to stop for a while until probably um, a little bit after lunchtime we're gonna we'll probably stop and get something to eat and uh, I'm not really sure yet where but we're definitely stopping to get something to eat and I'll go, I'll show you guys what I what I get then. So like I said, we are at, what was it? Almost 800 cows. Um, the veggie chips are 130 cows. The protein bar is 200. So 330 cows worth of snacks. So we are about at 1130, give or take. 1160, consider, I guess, considering this. Um, so that leaves us with 1400 left for the day we're going to split that in two and do 700 for lunch and then we're going to do 700 for dinner can we talk about can we talk about me and you can we talk about can we talk about the truth i want to know i want to know can we talk about guys we had to stop and get gas real quick oh, they don't want to run out of gas getting a little tired so i'm gonna fill my tank up and i'm gonna take you inside and maybe we're gonna you know explore some snacks and whatnot some snack ideas but yeah so we're about an hour and a half away from lunch so I might just get something small just to snack on until we get there because I'm getting pretty hungry but um, we're about four and a half hours out from Houston so all right I'm gonna fill up real quick it's about time to get a little stretch in real quick the apocalypse enough of that it feels good to get out of that car I'm getting kind of tired but customer 70 oh, that this is my section right here Sorry. not cheat day yet all right guys we are back in the car after I just filled up on gas um, I went in and got a couple snacks. Um, this is another good snack that I didn't just say anything about, but Greek yogurt. A lot of gas stations do have them. This is zero fat Greek yogurt. There is 110 calories, obviously no fat, 15 carbs, and 11 grams of protein. So that's pretty good. And then I got kind of like a untraditional snack, but it's gonna hold me over for a little bit. Uh, I got gas station pickles. So. Obviously pickles are little to no calories. This has five calories on the pack, so I'm gonna just count up as no calories. But 
yeah so that I got pickles and um, Greek yogurt and then I got energy drink number three <laughs> so yeah so actually this one is actually my favorite flavor um, I'm this is my favorite flavor overall the orange dream but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys get a taste test on on camera real quick so That one never misses, so. All right, so we're back on the road. Um, we're about to get dinner, I mean lunch. We're about to get lunch in uh, an hour, hour and a half. So uh, I'll catch up back up with you then. I'm, I'm currently looking at places to eat that are pretty good macro friendly that are gonna fit my overall calories for the day of 2,500 and uh, 240 grams of protein. So I'll catch you guys then. All right guys, we are stopped for lunch and I'm gonna show you kind of what I got. Um, I got the classic. I got four eight-piece grilled chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. And then I stopped and got a case of rice cakes for, uh, you know, had to get some of those carbs in there. But I got the OG sauce, ground cinnamon with me on deck, and then I got a water. All of this comes out together at 720 calories. Um, it comes to 105 grams of protein, 12 fat, and 40 carbs. But I'm actually going to split this in half. I'm going to eat half of this now, and then I'm going to eat half of this in about two hours. So I have time for this to digest. Um, I want to get about 40 grams of protein in um, in about two hours as well, because if I get 100 grams in right now, uh, I, I don't think it'll be as beneficial as me um, splitting it into two and it's I'll be hungry later as well so um, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and give you guys the first bite like always you can't tell I literally put ground cinnamon and Melinda's on everything because it's absolutely so delicious and it's zero calorie I do got some mustard for some of them as well because mustard is also zero calorie but yeah, this is a quick and easy way to get a good lunch in and um, get like kind of a healthy lunch in. Obviously, the preservatives in the chicken aren't as clean as if you would buy it from the grocery store, but Chick-fil-A's chicken is relatively pretty clean, so I advise it on the road especially. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a quick taste test. Yeah. That's good. Now, sometimes you gotta bring your bring bring your seasonings and you know bring, bring some food to the restaurant you're going to to hit your macros right, and that's just part of it, you know. People can make fun of you if you want to, but you know, it speaks for itself. All right, guys, we are back, and I it is about two hours later, and I'm going to finish the rest of my Chick Fil A, the other 50 grams of protein. Boom. And then the last of the rice cakes. And then also I stopped and got energy drink number four. So yeah, drinking four energy drinks in one day is I don't I don't approve of that. Um, I also woke up at 3 a.m. to make this drive, so I'm a little tired than most. I don't do this every day and I don't promote drinking in this many energy drinks. But yeah, so I actually have never tried this one. It's the Black Cherry C4. I do like the C4 brand a lot, so I never tried this flavor though, so I'll just give you a quick taste test. It's pretty good. Not not my favorite flavor, but it's pretty good. Um, the energy is definitely going to help because I am getting really tired. We are about two hours out from Houston. So, it's been a long day, it's been a long drive, but I'm ready to get get to Houston and get settled in tonight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this meal while I drive. Um, I'll probably catch you guys when, right when we get back into Houston, I guess, so. It's almost over, but after we get to Houston, after I get checked into my hotel, I plan on um, eating my last meal of the day. I'm gonna show you guys kind of um, what I would eat if you know I was still on the road or something so this isn't about a 12 hour span so you don't got to do this like start this at 7 and end this at 7 you can start this at I don't know 10 and then at 10 at night it doesn't matter but this is kind of just a more like 
um, information of how like you would eat in a, on a day that you're you are traveling how to eat clean cleaner like I said um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll catch you guys when we get to Houston Guess what guys, we've made it to Houston, let's go, 14 hours later, so I did stop at the gas station one last time and I actually got dinner, so what I got for dinner is kind of out of the ordinary, but I got chicken breast bites from the gas station, um, I got a premier protein shake and I got a bag of rice. So that is gonna be my dinner. It comes out to exactly 240 grams of protein and exactly 2,500 calories for the day. And we hit it perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to my get to my Airbnb. I'm gonna get all my things unloaded and I'm gonna catch you back for dinner and we're gonna have, uh, I'm gonna do that Q&A and I'm gonna kinda go through my day as a whole and what I, what I thought about it. But yeah, dude. We made it, we're in Houston. Well, I live in Houston now. All right guys, we are in Houston. So, we finally made it, 14 hours later. Obviously I took my time a little bit, but um, I actually also got, yeah, energy drink number five. Well, technically it's like 4.5, because it's 100 milligrams of caffeine, some uh, BCAAs and some electrolytes, which I need. So, yeah, we're gonna mark that up as a 4.5. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get, get to my Airbnb. I'm gonna carry my stuff up to my room. I'm gonna get everything situated. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I got for dinner. And then I'll also do the Q&A then as well. So, yeah, I'll catch you at the Airbnb, guys. Did you ever think that you would be moving to Houston? No, I mean, I, I explained earlier in the video that the last three weeks have literally just flipped my entire life around. Like, I, it's so, it's extremely surreal that I'm even, living in Houston right now because three weeks ago my plan was to be in Arizona August 1st but everything changed the moment I got to he got to Houston like I said b before um, this place is this place is just something spectacular man like you have to be here to feel it you have to be here to see it it's just unlike anything I've ever seen so yeah like I, I guess I never really seen myself moving living in Houston but so yeah this is kind of like my first time doing an actual vlog so it is a uh, um, it's, I think in, personally that it's helping me like kind of get to talk in front of a camera better. I'd be able to speak in front of a camera better, especially by myself. I'm getting more comfortable talking in front of a camera. So if you guys like these title of vlogs where it's just me and you guys and nobody else and I don't really lift as much, but I do talk fitness like when doing a full day of eating, then I can just start doing that more. Um, but yeah like i actually had a really good time doing it today i had a good time vlogging the drive i did a 14 hour drive so i'm absolutely exhausted i'm gonna try to get some sleep and kind of get my training in for tomorrow but yeah thank you guys for watching this whole video if you stuck to the end i know it was probably pretty long and boring in some parts but like i said like this is helping me get better talking in front of a camera so i appreciate everybody who stayed to the, to the entire end if you want to support the channel like subscribe and comment um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Four. The apocalypse.